If you go into most kitchens, you'll find aluminum foil in one of the drawers. It's a pretty common kitchen staple that's used for cooking, wrapping, even to treat certain common ailments. People have been using aluminum foil for years, often on a daily basis. What you might not know is that a recent study has found that there are things about this kitchen staple that you don't know and you need to. Doctors are warning that you should probably stop using aluminum foil right away. Aluminum is a neurotoxic-rich material. It can have serious side effects on the function of your brain. It's also been associated with Alzheimer's disease. Many doctors believe that exposure to this heavy metal can cause adverse effects that can last a long time. A few issues that are caused by this metal include loss of balance, memory issues, lack of coordination, loss of bodily control, and mental decline. Researchers have also found that when you cook with aluminum foil, it can have an effect on your bones. Aluminum can build up in your bones when you use it for cooking, and that can take the place of calcium in your bones, reducing your bone strength. In time, frequent use of aluminum foil could cause your bones to break more easily. It's not just the brain and the bones that can be affected by cooking with aluminum foil either. Studies have shown that its use has been linked to pulmonary fibrosis as well. The study also showed that if you inhale aluminum particles, it can result in respiratory problems. And that often occurs when you grill using aluminum foil. If you cook with aluminum foil at very high temperatures, part of the metal can be emitted into the food, making it unsafe to eat. A chemical engineer researcher at the American University of Sharjah, Dr. Essam Zubaidi, evaluated the effects of aluminum and cooking, and his study found that when you cook one meal in aluminum foil, it can introduce up to 400 milligrams of aluminum into your food. According to the World Health Organization, the recommended daily allowance of aluminum is limited to only 60 milligrams a day. Since you can get 400 milligrams introduced in your food when you use it to cook in just one meal, you can see how dangerous this really is. Furthermore, the higher the temperature, the more leaching occurs and the more dangerous your food becomes. The doctor also found that while cooking with foil is a bad idea, it's even worse when you use it to cook vegetables like tomatoes, citrus juices, or spices. Unlike vitamins, minerals, and iron, our bodies don't need aluminum. Also, our body is not able to process it correctly. Since your body can't process aluminum, you wonder what happens to it after it's ingested? Studies have shown that it accumulates in your brain, lungs, kidney, liver, and even your thyroid, and that can put your health in great jeopardy. Aluminum can damage your central nervous system as well. Even worse, aluminum has been linked to autism in children. When children are exposed to aluminum in their drinking water, it can cause bone, brain, and kidney disease. Research has shown that aluminum can cause toxic stress on your brain. If your brain stores too much aluminum, it can result in MS, epilepsy, ADD, Alzheimer's, chronic fatigue syndrome, and other serious neurological disorders. The best thing you can do for your health and the health of your family is to reduce your exposure to aluminum. Since it is the most abundant metal on the planet, it's impossible to avoid it altogether. Fortunately, though, there are steps you can take to limit your exposure. Start by using aluminum-free cookware. You should also avoid personal hygiene products that contain aluminum hydroxide. And finally, cut back on your consumption of processed foods. Another step that you can take is to consume more foods that remove heavy metals naturally. These include onions, garlic, cilantro, carrot juice, green tea, burdock, and high-grade bentonite. Now that you know how harmful aluminum can be to your body, it might be time to get rid of it altogether. That might mean a more difficult cleanup after cooking and finding a new method to cook baked potatoes, but these small sacrifices are worth it since they could essentially save your life.